How's it going guys? I'm Dionysius and welcome to another episode of Siege Strats, a series where I give beginner strategies on how to attack in Rainbow Six Siege. Following the poll on Twitter, the next map we will be attacking is Consulate. One of the favourite sites for defenders to hold is where we're going to focus in this video as we attack the Garage Cafeteria site on Consulate. Your end objective in this strategy is going to be opening the main garage door and planting at the front of the white van. To do this, we're going to want a lot of vertical play to clear out the areas of the garage we need in order to plant with the site prep. There are three main operators you're going to need to prepare the site for this attack. You'll need a hard breacher to open the main garage door and get direct into sight, Thermite. You'll need a soft breacher capable of opening up a lot of large areas of floor quickly, so Sledge. And you'll need some way to eliminate their breach denial potential, so Thatcher is going to be there for that one. It's very likely they will try and bandit trick the garage door, so be ready to work Thatcher and Thermite together in order to counter it. The first thing you need to do is clear your way into the first floor. Drone out the areas of the main lobby, yellow stairs and the press room, or as it's more commonly known as piano, as piano is where we need to get control of. It can also be worth clearing out the top floor of Romans, but keep in mind there are three staircases spread apart on this map that are easily accessible from the basement, so clearing the top floor early round doesn't really mean that it's safe, so watch your flanks all the way through this game. Make sure you make an effort to clear out the shower room as well, as this is a big area for people to sometimes hold if they don't want to give up piano control. You need to go in here with your sledge, and preferably one other person for protection, to start opening up the floor in a few key areas. The areas around the piano here are going to clear out behind the white van. This will allow you to enter the garage into the planting spot later in the round. It will also open an angle from above onto the garage door, so you can shoot any bandit batteries or Kai claws if you run out of EMPs, or counter someone trying to bandit trick the garage door. This area of the floor here will open an angle onto pipes, which is a very common spot for defenders to hold as well. Additionally, if you open here by the door in the corridor as well, you can open angles onto stage and even behind the cafe wall where a lot of defenders could hold to maintain control of the garage. While you are locking down these areas of the site with Sledge, Thatcher and Thermite need to open the garage door. If you're only able to get one panel because of bandit tricking, get the right hand panel. This will give you the most protection to enter near White Van. Now that we have the site fully prepared, it's time for the execute. Have a teammate lay down some covering fire and then run to the front of the white van to plant the diffuser. Do be aware of the potential for smoke canisters and C4 coming out from the defence. From this spot, you are hidden from most of the garage aside from two areas, the yellow stairs that you should have somebody take control of for the plant, and behind white van if the defender goes prone, but you should have this covered from above in piano. Other than that, the defenders will need to push up on you to stop the plant. Once the diffuser is down, it's time to fall back into long angles for the post plant. Once the diffuser is down, you can hold it from a lot of strong and mostly safe angles outside. You can hold from behind the car right outside, though this could be a little risky. You can also hold from the stairs on the left side and also from the far right side as well where you can lay prone behind the stone banister. As well as this, you have a really strong angle up in piano to shoot down onto the diffuser for a very easy kill and round win. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any additions to this strategy or any comments about how effective it was for you, feel free to leave a comment below, and of course like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and to hear about the next Siege Strats video as soon as it drops. Don't forget to follow on Twitter as well, with the link in the comments to vote on the next poll for which site to cover next. Now, go and win some rounds, and I'll see you in the next one.